Welcome to Monam Tech. In this video, I will explain a very important procedure in the SS7 system. It's called ATI or Anytime Interrogation. Let's start. So first, what is Anytime Interrogation? As you know, uh, the MAP protocol or mobile application part, which is application protocol in the SS7 layer used in 2G and 3G. But why we need ATI? It's used to obtain the subscriber location and the status information from the network in real time in different use cases. But what are the main use cases we can use ATI in SS7? First and the most important one is for lawful interception. So law enforcement agencies request real time location and the status for surveillance subject to regulatory approval. As well, we can use it for location-based service, so used by service provider to offer value-added service such as real-time advertising or emergency location assistance. As well, we can use it for fraud prevention, so operator use ATI to detect any unusual subscriber behavior such as uh, fraudulent usage in unauthorized regions. Now let's start how ATI works. Now, as you can see in this image, we have here the low, lawful interception, okay, plus HLR plus MSC and mobile uh, device. So here, this is the higher layer architecture for how ATI works. The location-based service application or law enforcement application will send map anytime interrogation request to HLR for the subscriber. The input to HLR is MSIDN of the subscriber or MZ. This triggers the HLR to send a map provide subscriber information or PSI to MSC VLR serving this mobile. And the MSC VLR in turn triggers a paging procedure to the mobile device to get the most current location information. Once MSC VLR has received the updated location information in the paging response, it constructs a PSI response or provides subscriber information response and send it to HLR. And HLR takes the information received from MSC in the PSI and use it to construct the ATI response and send it to requesting LBS application, whatever its low uh, interception platform or service provider location service. You can see here in the message uh, in the PSI or ATI response, you can see the cell global identity information provided in the ATI response includes cell ID, uh, MCC or mobile country code, mobile network code, a location area code. The information can be used to find out long and the length of the subscriber. There are application available that will translate this information into location on the map. And if the subscriber uh, is located in an urban, uh, urban area, for example, the location accuracy can be within a few hundred meters due to the close proximity of the cell site. However, where is the security threat here? Here you can see attackers. Attackers, for example, can use in this area, can uh, send ATI message to HLR. And for there are SS7 network providing easy access to network and subscriber information. However, now most operators have stopped responding to any ATI message received from uh, untrusted, unauthorized or foreign uh, networks, for example as this is will be considered for firewall for example in the stp is as an unusual attack now how attackers or how hacks work here in ss7 first the hacker can be make ss7 access exploitation and the attackers here will gain unauthorized access to ss7 network through compromised telecom operator third party provider or uh, unefficient secure signaling gateway, for example. Also can crafting uh, malicious ATI request. So once on the SS7 network, attackers send uh, fraudulent 
ATI request to the HLR or HSS based on the generation. This request copy legal once, often exploiting, uh, uh, exploiting the lack of authentication mechanism in the SS7 protocol. Also, uh, can make a response interception. The HLR, assuming the request is legal, respond with sensitive information about the target subscriber, like lag, cell ID, roaming status, VLR information. This allows the attacker to track the subscriber in real time. Also, can make a further exploitation, for example, combining ATI response with other SSF vulnerability. Attackers may conduct uh, location tracking over time, perform attacks like SIM swap fraud or call interception, identify high value targets for surveillance or financial theft, for example. So here, the recommendation here is to start uh, make a monitoring for unusual uh, ATI uh, like requests uh, to check the signaling uh, messages in the firewall uh, as well to to make a manual uh, sorry automatic uh, uh, review for the all message coming to the HLR or STP or the firewall. Uh, in this case, you you try to reduce the ATI uh, hacks or attacks. Uh, thanks and see you in the next video. If you have any question, please uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.